It's Saturday afternoon, and the Birch Aquarium is swimming with families. One part of the Hold Fast exhibit attracts a lot of kids. They run through a display of 27 kelp plant images printed on silk sheets that hang from the ceiling. What should I say about this area? Do, you, do we like this area? Yes. San Diego dad and high school science teacher Andrew Corman asks his two kids about the exhibit. They've been darting through and around the sheets and lounging on the colorful ottoman chairs. Corman called it a great exhibit. It emulates what the kelp is. It kind of shows exactly how they kind of flow with the water. you got areas where they sit and can relax just like aquatic animals would in the kelp forest. It's been wonderful just kind of sit and, and watch kids explore this this area. Oriana Poindexter is a photography artist and marine scientist who created the kelp forest where the kids frolic. They know exactly what to do. They dive right in. They just kind of run straight through the center and, and enjoy interacting with the silks, touching them, looking up. Poindexter also helped curate the exhibit, Hold Fast. The term is a reference to the part of kelp that anchors the plant, grabbing onto rocks at the sea bottom as the plant grows and reaches for the surface and the sunlight. Poindexter often dives in the forests off the San Diego coast, and she's seen some of the devastation that marine heat waves have done to local kelp. Megan Dickerson, the director of exhibits at Birch Aquarium, says Hold Fast has some of that sadness. But it also showcases nature's beauty and the art it inspires, and that gives her hope. I think maybe I can do a beautiful thing, right? And those beautiful things start to add up into something that's beyond hope, and it becomes reality. We're writing ourselves a new future. Poindexter's Kel prints are done with cyanotyping. It's a chemical process that predated photography, where you coat plants with iron salts, apply them to paper left in the sun so they leave a realistic life-sized print. Another artist featured in the exhibit is Dwight Huang. He does something similar where he coats sea creatures in soot-based ink and presses them onto paper. So what is a kelp forest, really? It's a habitat, you know? It it, it's a nursery for a lot of the fisheries that we actually rely on. Mohamed Sederat is a PhD student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography who studies kelp. His work is also featured in Hold Fast. He says marine heat waves and slowly rising sea temperatures in just the last 10 years have had a very negative effect, reducing the footprint of local kelp forests dramatically. He says heat waves are getting more common and recently the kelp has not been fully recovering. Like what we had in 2014 through 2016, we had a crazy El Nino, warm waters, temperatures spiked, we lost kelp, and that's kind of when that huge signal of abundant kelp in 2013 disappeared. Sandrat says summer water temperatures of 80 degrees or higher are kind of a red line that most varieties of giant kelp can survive in. In the lab, he is trying to identify natural kelp or hybrids that can tolerate warmer temperatures. We can hope that natural diversity and evolution will favor those existing plants and they will take over. But when it comes to planting more heat-tolerant varieties in the wild, marine scientists don't want to go there. Not yet. Artificial selection is the biggest topic right now. We're not there to, we're not ready to, to put out kelp that's been naturally selected or even modified yet. Um, it's still just about preserving the status quo. And the status quo is still out there, though less than it was. Poindexter talks about diving in the kelp and the amazing way it catches the sunlight. And yes, it is home to a lot of fish. Some of my favorite creatures to see um, are the taupe sharks uh, that kind of cruise through there, the seven gill sharks. Um, there's the sheephead that are kind of obnoxious um, and they really get up in your face when you're free diving. They don't, they don't seem to have a lot of fear. Those are called Madison. Hold fast. We can also find something to hold on to. The kelp exhibit at the Birch Aquarium will be on display until September of this year. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.